Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today we're gonna discuss about fall songs of this fall. <laughs> Best songs of this fall or autumn, however you want to call it. Uh, once again, I will just give out uh, my favorite songs of the season. Uh, and the last thing I want to mention is just like uh, this playlist I'm gonna share. Uh, it's gonna be on Spotify. Uh, link is on the description box, so you, uh, you can check it out. Uh, and let's just start with it. So damn, I have tons of songs, like 45 to be exact. So let's just start with the 45, 45th song. Uh, Taylor Swift, ready for it? Yes, Taylor Swift is on this list for the simple fact that uh, the only song I actually liked was Ready For It and you can check out my reaction to uh, that song. Uh, it was like, at that first listen it was like, I was pretty shocked, it was amazed, like, oh damn, like the instrumentals are nice and I like the vibe of it, but then I, stopped listening to it at all like I wasn't feeling it but then at the end when the video came out and like it made sense more and I was like oh shit actually this is a good song so yeah ready for it uh, it's gonna end up on this list uh, as the last uh, place but uh, still like the fact that Taylor Swift is on this, is on this list is just quite shocking um, uh, and but repetition is still <laughs> boring now. <album. laughs> anyway, track 44, um, Lil Uzi Vert, Neon Gods featuring Pharrell Williams. 43, Dua Lipa, New Rules. Uh, didn't react to that one, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, massive hit, and Dua Lipa is amazing. Uh, New Rules is is a good track. Uh, track 42, uh, Fergie, uh, Fergie. <laughs> you already know featuring Nicki Minaj. Love the track. Love how you know. It was like a Black Eyed Peas feel of a song. There was a Black Eyed Peas feel. That's what I appreciate because Black Eyed Peas is one of my favorite bands uh, throughout the history of listening to music of me, of mine. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> track 41, uh, Back Up All Night, uh, song number 40, uh, Division, P-O-V, uh, Morning After. Uh, the album was great. Uh, I I regret the fact that I didn't react to that one, but it was it was amazing. Yeah, it was a great album. Check out that album, please, please do. <laughs> uh, track thirty nine, uh, J Balvin, Mi Gente, also another massive hit. Uh, like number thirty eight, Rita Ora, Anywhere, thirty seven, Saint Vincent, Pills. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, good track, good track. Uh, number 36, we have Maroon 5, Whiskey, uh, featuring a separate key. 35, DJ Snake, A Different Way, featuring Love. 34, Clean Bandit. Yes, I didn't react to this song as well. I Miss You, uh, featuring Julia Michaels, but that was a great song. I actually discovered it only like last week I guess uh, and it was a great song I was like wow that was incredible I thought and uh, I I feel like if I discovered it at the day of the release of the actual release I uh, would place this song uh, above like more like maybe not on 34 but maybe like on like track 10 maybe because like uh, I'm valuing, I'm like pl placing the songs based on my repeat value, how often I was listening to the songs. So I uh, didn't listen to this to, to it that much yet, only one week listening to it, right? So, but I was like, I mean, I'm really loving the song. Uh, track 33, Division, Runaway, also the song from Morning After. Great, dope intro, bombastic beat, just oh, it's so soulful as well, just amazing, incredible. Track 32, oh damn, I placed <laughs> Eminem on 32, Walk on the Water featuring Beyonce. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't listening to this song that much, and uh, still, it came out pretty late uh, in this uh, autumn, so uh, that's why I didn't place it. Uh, you know, above, uh, although Eminem is my favorite artist, just like Walk on Water wasn't that like very exciting track because like he's talking about insecurities, he got the job done in terms of like promoting a single and telling the story uh, and got me excited of course, uh, but it's just like this particular track 
it's not like the track you want to go back and back and listen and listen that much although it's a beautiful track it's still a beautiful track uh, track 31 Zane does still don't feature in Sia great single uh, number 30 we have Cardi B Pora Kelo uh, if you want it <laughs> alright it's very explicit but it's just like a uh, great uh, tune uh, track 29 Sam Smith burning I've been burning yes I've been burning mm -hmm. Fuck it. Yes, that's that's just a great track. Very melodic, amazing track, and like get you into your feelings. Amazing Sam Smith performance, vocals. Mwah! Amazing. Track 30, oh, track 28, we have N E R D and Rihanna Lemon. Also bombastic, huge, incredible beat, and it's just like so catchy as well, so um, uplifting in terms of like you wanna just dance to it, like groove into it, it's just like incredible, incredible <laughs> track. Uh, if you didn't listen to that one, like please check out, check this out and also other songs I'm, uh, I'm suggesting if you haven't heard them, please do and uh, most of these songs I have reacted uh, to them, so in the description box you can find uh, the links to these songs. Uh, Alright, track 27, we have g Easy, No Limit featuring ASAP Rocky and Cardi B didn't react to that one because I didn't thought that I would enjoy it that much because I don't really usually enjoy g Easy song but that one was great and Cardi B did her thing Cardi B saved the song like like she turned the song into another level like her verse is really dope track 26 we have 21 Savage bank account track 25 we have Selena Gomez and Marshmallow Wolves I feel like I would have placed it much higher uh, if if it was like based on not on the repeat value, but it's just like on how the on how strong the single is, you know. Because Selen Gomez Wolves feature Marshmallow is very strong single. It's it's like everywhere. It's very popular. Uh, but it's just like um, amazing track. I, it grew on me actually. I, in my reaction, I told it's it needs to grow on me. Like I'm really, I'm not really feeling it, but I still like it. But it's just like not that much. But it still grew on me a lot. I'm enjoying the song, but it's just like it's still on the repeat value. You know the songs I'm gonna mention uh, after this song is just like I'm was listening to it to them more than this song. Uh, so track 24 division another song from uh, morning after uh mood uh, that was a fucking incredible beautiful tune uh track 23 brockhampton tokyo from saturation 2 amazing uh, hip-hop album if you want to check it out please do amazing uh record uh track 22 we have miguel skywalker featuring travis scott I'm not a Miguel fan personally, but this song was great and Travis Scott also did his thing on this one But it's more about actually Miguel's performance uh, shockingly, although I love Travis Scott, but it's just like uh, Like I was surprised how actually oh damn I dig the Miguel song. <laughs> that was pretty surprising to me uh, Track 21 we have it's a vibe Two chains between title assign, Trey songs, and Junior Aiko. Uh, the album Pretty Girls like trap music was good. I s I didn't react to that one as well, <laughs> but like I didn't because I didn't expect that I would like Two Chains project. But I actually did enjoy that. There's like a lot of good tracks out of this uh, thing. Song number twenty, Kali uh, Kali, which is Nuestro Planeta, uh, featuring Raycon amazing dope uh, Spanish tune uh, if you speak Spanish uh, maybe you will enjoy it even more than I did because like uh, I don't really understand the lyrics but like the feel like the vibe and the like the dancing tune of it is just so amazing wonderful wonderful track uh, track 19 Majid Jordan one I want featuring party next door Majid Jordan is one of my favorite artists uh, and I was really waiting for this album the space between to come out and I did react to it immediately and I love 
the shit out of this album. It was great. So the the one of the lead singles of this album was "One I Want" featuring Barney Next Door, and yeah, that's why I, like it's here. <laughs> uh, track 18, Lil Pump, Gucci Gang. Um, I mean, it's really dumb tune. Like the lyrics are dumb and whatever, but like. I went into this project of Lil Pumps and was just wondering uh, why uh, Anthony Fantano, the music reactor, if you know him, the famous uh, f uh, music, uh, not reactor, um, critic, uh, he on his channel, he gave it a 7 out of 10 and like he once again shocked a lot of people like people were mad like you gave Kanye West uh, six out uh, my beautiful dark twins my beautiful dark twisted fantasy one of my favorite albums of all time yeah you gave that legendary album six out of ten people were saying but you gave little palms project seven out of ten I was like just wanted to check out and actually enjoy this uh, motherfucker I don't know why I did but it's just like for some reason like hypnotizing uh, like and a lot of uh, rap uh, tunes these days just like you like the beat a lot and just like forcing you hypnotizing you some way to like that song uh, I don't know how this work but uh, this Gucci gang I really enjoyed it and I was listening to it a lot and other tunes from this uh, Lil Pumps album or slash mixtape I was enjoying it. Track 17, Camila Cabello, uh, Havana featuring Young Thug, very strong single as well uh, on top of the charts right now and Havana is a great song, I was into it as well as many people so yeah great video as well, great track. Track 15, Majid Jordan, Phases. Incredible track from the space between as well. Uh, track 14, we have Maroon 5 and Julia Michaels, Help Me Out. Uh, yeah, great track as well. Although, you know, a lot of people criticized Red Bull Blues once again, like Maroon 5 went to pop, uh, like because they were before um, alternative rock instead, then they just pop band um, I still like uh, I still enjoy Modern 5 song, um, music and uh, yeah I ended up having three or four songs of Modern 5 uh, surprisingly uh, Majid Jordan's Body Talk is uh, number 13 number 12 Daniel Caesar another uh, like album I regret that I didn't react to because I didn't know like at that time I didn't know who Daniel Caesar is and Daniel Caesar didn't have that popularity uh, or excitement around his name at all uh, when I uh, was diving into this uh, album but I checked it out in my own spare time I was amazed just like how wonderful and how soulful these songs are and this Fruit Iron album is it's just incredible please give it a listen just one of the best albums of this year I'm claiming like them incredible fantastic Daniel Caesar best part featuring H E R uh, aka her <laughs> is on uh, number 12 number 11 we have Kygo this town featuring Sasha Sloan fantastic fantastic soulful track as well track 10 okay we have <laughs> we have only 10 spots left right who is the top 10 of our um, top 10 kings basically so number 10 we have king named charlie puth how long been going on incredible incredible soon like please check it out if you haven't uh, the video is fantastic as well just, I love I love how he dances kind of just it's kind of cute it's kind of cool uh, number nine so this is where it gets tricky because uh, this track uh, is released in 2007 but the fact that uh, I I mean I love MIA uh, and I discovered her last year in 2016, at the beginning of 2016 and uh, I really love her music, it's just very incredible like I love uh, electronic stuff and her stuff is just uh, like electronic and dancey on a new level uh, 
he's a wonderful artist and like people like Kanye West and Nicki Minaj they gave a praising they only talked about MIA in a positive light uh, always uh, but it was like back in 2009 2010 when MIA was uh, at her peak of her career but now she faded away because like uh, she was making a lot of political statements that you know like she was encouraging people to wake up like to uh, think about uh, stuff more right and like what's going on in the news because like we have a mainstream media that forces us to think one way but the truth but the truth is not exactly the way they are portraying on the news so like so that's why people turned down MIA a little bit um, like start ad stopped advertising her but uh, her music as well um, was very mm, not poppy let's say not not pop mainstream uh, at all like after uh, 2010's project but anyway uh, MIA uh, this track Paper Planes I was listening to it a lot a lot a lot even though I have tons of songs I was listening uh, not from this autumn you know they were released in 2016 or earlier or, or this year uh, like uh, for example Chance the, Ra uh, Chance the Rapper Coloring Book or Justin Timberlake songs or Daft Punk or Kanye West and M.I.A. and other songs you know like from uh, older uh, generations maybe from older um, years um, I just decided to include this track particularly because I want to I want people to recognize M.I.A. And also, um, it's just like I was listening to it that much that it was just a sin to not include uh, in the best songs of this autumn for me. So, Paper Planes, number nine. Kaigo, number eight. Stargazing, featuring Justin Jesso. Give it a listen, give it a listen. Stargazing, whoo! <laughs> like, I fell in love with that track incredible amazing and this town uh, which was on number 11 is also incredible please check out the stargazing ep uh track seven Damien lovato you don't do it for me anymore what a powerful performance by Damien lovato that was incredible it's just heart touching heart touching uh number six Oh, I'm sorry, number seven, uh, I messed it up a little bit. So you don't do it for me anymore, it was uh, number eight. Wait a second, how I messed up everything? How long is number 11? And Paper Plane's number 10. Sargazing number nine. You don't do it for me anymore is eight. Yeah, so <laughs> number seven is Sam Smith, Too Good at Goodbyes. Okay, well, messed up all the numbers. Um, basically, yeah, another incredible performance by Sam Smith. Uh, leading single to The Thrill of It All. Uh, a lot of tracks I loved from this album. Gave it a listen, give it a listen as well. Like, I mean, you cannot listen to, give it a listen to everything, but I hope you're having like a sense now at this point, just to check out uh, some stuff that you seem like you will be interested in you know uh, because these tracks like for me personally are like i love them really like incredible tracks uh track six number six we have feel it still portugal the man this is the first one of the first songs uh, i listened this fall and it still uh, manages to be in my playlist it still manages to be um relevant you know, I still listen to it sometimes. I didn't get bored with it. I feel it still is just like It's just like very uh, incredible song. It's just like and it can make a like a soundtrack to Despicable Me movies. <laughs> really like that. Or like people are having fun kind of song, you know, like uh, for the fact that it's very positive you know it gives you positive vibes like uh Pharrell williams happy was giving me back in 2014 i rate it very highly because you know feel it still just like i love the tracks where you get the positivity out of it and uh, 
chance the rapper's coloring book as well it's very like you make make you feel good music you know like that's what i like a lot um track five oh top five we have majid jordan my imagination featuring division when the song dropped uh it was before the actual album uh like this song dropped and it was like next day i was listening to it 25 times on the repeat like it was non-stop repeat because like i i fell in love with this song incredible song incredible song uh number four we have maroon five who <laughs> who could have imagined that high on the list uh what lovers do featuring siza uh love the track uh, also one of the first singles of this uh autumn uh, I listen to and it still manages to be you know uh, one of my favorite because like I was listening to it a lot a lot and still like it's still here it's still and I'm, I'm still listening to this song with this more than five songs from this album uh, like uh, help me out or whiskey you know some people might not feel it at all and like oh it's so boring they might say but uh, I don't know like I catch the feel I catch the vibe of it uh, and I'm really feeling those tracks and I love it. I love it for what it is. Number three we have Daniel Caesar, Get You, featuring Cali Uh Again, as I said, Through Dying, incredible album. I love the whole album, but I I just ended up having two songs in this list because like, oh, damn. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot uh, include them all, you know, uh, but I ended up including four songs of Magic Jordan and three songs of Division but don't make you fool yourself with this fact because like still Daniel Caesar is one of the best albums of this year and you should give it a listen for sure uh, okay so we are on the top three right the second track of this fall basically number two we have Brockhampton Swamp Swamp uh, from Saturation 2 it's just like what you need in hip hop you know what you imagine yourself as a real hip hop is this track uh, incredible verses dope ass beat uh, incredible feel you get like a, as well like as like a gangster feel you know like when uh, you listen to rap uh, you get that sort of adrenaline or you get that sort of uh, feeling cool vibe you know like for example like this <laughs> Yeah, basically, <laughs> it's just like uh, the song uh, I played is uh, Kanye West and Jay Z uh, featuring Frank Ocean, No Church in the Wild. Uh, great song if you want to check it out. Uh, but that's like from 2011, uh, another great rap song. But Swamp is also. So, who is number one? Who is number one that you were waiting for is. All right, I will tell you. <laughs> it's uh, also MIA, uh, Bad Girls. Uh, wonderful, fantastic, incredible. Uh, I have only like uh, like three, four adjectives, <laughs> as you can see in English. <laughs> but like, really, it's just like so crazy. This song is just like, I can listen to it anytime, uh, anywhere. Like, um, so dope and just so bombastic of a beat as well so cool like uh, like the all of the um, adjustments it has the lyrics uh, and like the swag it gives when you listen to this song you know like of, like bad girls is fantastic phenomenal I love the production of this track and I encourage you to listen to that track it's from 2013 uh, so another exception as I said like so MIA having MIA in this playlist is an exception to all of the autumn releases of this 
uh, year, but now I was loving MIA. I was listening uh, to MIA this uh, fall a lot, and I just uh, couldn't not not include <laughs> uh, MIA into this uh, playlist. So we're gonna end it on here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, hope you like my picks. Uh, and if you didn't like it or you have just like another suggestions what you were listening to uh, This autumn, let me know. Uh, let me know what you were listening uh, My subscribers uh, I'm really interested to check out uh, the songs you were listening to you were into um, Yeah, we're gonna end it on here. Thank you guys for watching again Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, don't forget to check out the playlist on Spotify if you have an access to Spotify, uh, the link is in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Пока, хайр, ау фидерзейн, арвидерчи, адьос, чао, чао, ау ривуа, ау рофис, goodbye.